Welcome to the Gib River Road. Dry. <laughs> we pulled up to our first camp spot. Don't know what it's called. It's just kind of a spot by the side of the road. Free. We've got a bit of cooking going on here. We just cooked up some poppy seed, uh, little cake muffiny things. First batch burnt to a crisp. Nick and Shados had steak and schnitties. Steak and palmies. Palmas. Palmies. Ah. Uh. <laughs> They're Victorian, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, Jados, you're cooking. We got some calamari, Ooh. but later down the track, we've got some uh, maki that Nick caught. Oh, yeah. So we're going to cook that up when we have a couple nights, so it should be fun. Mm. Like calamari today. Bit of Spanish mackerel to come, yet to come. This is our little water sauce. We don't believe there's any saltwater crocodiles. So we haven't seen any. It's Tina's hammock. Yeah, campsite number one. Pretty good. Welcome to campsite number two, by the way. Tonight, on Tina and Robbo's cooking show, we're gonna be doing a bit more baking because last night the poppy seed muffins were so good. So we've been a bit inspired and we're, we're going a bit more freelance this time. Making upside down fruit cake. All right, team, so. A little bit more dates, maybe. We haven't discussed this pre-filming, but what Nico, his thoughts were, and I like his thoughts, is that put quantities of things that we kind of know in here, this is for the cake mixture, and then match it so it's a cake consistency yeah. with, the, with the flour. Oh, I like it. See, Tina likes it too. He's I not like just it. a pretty face, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a Shade likes it. Jaden, do you like it? Yep, I love it. Haven't heard it, but love it. Jaden <laughs> loves it, so we're on. So we got, Eggs, a lot of little sachets of sugar, cinnamon, vanilla, salt, butter. We've got some toffee apple syrup. Self-raising flour. Self-raising flour? Yeah. Yeah, that sounded weird when I said it. Milk, more butter, and then some chopped up fruit. And then this, this flat fruit is to layer the bottom of the pan. And then we're gonna get it out. Blip it. We're gonna pass it the camp oven. It's preheating on the fire. Already buttered. So we're on. The wet ingredients all mixed up together. I'm just going to do it until we get the right consistency. We just got this off the fire just before preheating. And then what are we going to do with the coals, Tina? We're going to put the coals on top of the oven. <laughs> now that's in there now. Ooh, I see you've played Nighty oh, Nighty done. Spoony Spoony. Done! Done ski! <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Ready? Okay. I'll put my hand under it real quick. Three, two, one, go. Oh! Well, it's that is black. amazing! Oh, it's, uh, it's still filming. Oh, oh man! Holy shit! Oh, that actually smells good! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Come on! That's mm. oh, caramelized. Oh. Oh, oh! oh! Look at that! Look at that, boys! <laughs> wow.
at the Mount Barnett Roadhouse. Just did refilled fuel, refilled water, emptied the bins, did a little grocery shop. We got like a bag and a half, a normal grocery bag, bag and a half, like $130. This is like the main stopover on the Gibb River Road. It's about halfway along. I'm trying to put myself in a... <laughs> Where are we, Tina? At Barnett Gorge. <laughs> That's the Barnett River, we assume. We just saw some rock wallabies like hopping around here. With beautiful fluffy bushy tails, they look like a possum almost. Yeah, like long black tailed things. We're gonna, well, we can't even look them up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure out what they are somehow. <laughs> We reckon this is one of our favourite gorges. It's, it's a bit more off the beaten track, so it's got no one at it, and it's just Very stunning. There's apparently big curtains of rock art, like big walls of Aboriginal rock art somewhere. We have been given no instructions on how to find it, and there's a lot of potential locations. Anyway, we'll look for it, and if we find it, you'll know. <laughs> we found it! We actually found the art. I don't know if you can make out that. We're not exactly sure what that is, but it's got like a head and legs. And then we've got, what else did we find? Some kind of person holding a, like a brushing stick or something like that. Another person. A cool little kind of head there, if you can make that out, and then a pattern. A snake over here. Big long snake. Then the lady, she's really cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring it around to our favorite one. Have a look at where it is though, just like, we've just been going into every cave we see. And we found it. Where's our lady, there's our lady. It's amazing. This lady. She was the first one that we kind of spotted once we were up close. There's like something under here too. Yeah, make sure of Wow. We found our crossing back. How oh, beautiful is that? That's where we were swimming up there in the gorge. Woo! Impossible, no more impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we got fam cook up night. Fish was caught by Nico. I'm blocking the light. Spanish mackerel. I don't know why I said that, it's so weird. <laughs> it's just Spanish mackerel. We got chippies cooked in the camp oven. We got beer battered Spanish mackerel, lemon, and kippy mayo. And that's it, no salad, because we're in the bush and you can't get salad in the bush. <laughs> is what we're finding out. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Woohoo! Good morning, everyone. This is the Gibb River. This is what it's all about. This stretch of slightly dirty water. Nah, it's pretty nice. We've been swimming in it. We're not too sure if there's crocodiles, so we're going click in and out. What's going on? Could you help me squeeze my toothpaste? <laughs> <laughs> the all important squeeze of the toothpaste. <laughs> we've got, what have we got? 55 k's to travel today until we get to Drysdale pa River Pub. Pop, Homestead. We're pretty excited about a pub. And you were saying palmy then. I said palmy, palmy. No, palmy, yes. And this will be our last day as a fivesome. We've got two more joining us today, hopefully. All, all being well, which is sick. So we're going to meet Josh and Liz. Supplies coming in. Yeah, we have couple of cases of beer and some veggies, mum. Veggies. Uh, vehicles are all holding up fairly well. We've got a couple of minor issues, but nothing too bad. Nothing a bit of grease and tape can't fix. And yeah, you gotta kick on. Open up your mind. Let me there inside to take a look. If I 
Finding it hard to hide the way I feel inside. I'm feeling shook. It used to be better at this, hiding my feelings. But something has changed the way I feel about this. So won't you open up your heart and let me back inside again? Open up your 